Hello and welcome to episode 5 of How to Beat Digital Distraction and Write More. So my name is Andy Tatsall uh, and I'm an Information Specialist at the School of Health and Related Research at the University of Sheffield. In this short series of podcasts I want you to help you deal with this problem of digital distraction and information overload and in this very short podcast I want to talk about the productivity model of how to eat a frog. So this might sound like a rather horrible thing to do and I'm not condoning you eat a frog for a moment Um, but it's an idea that's based on a quote by Mark Twain and he said eat a live frog every morning and nothing er worse will happen to you for the rest of the day. The premise is very simple. We all have tasks that we don't look forward to completing or starting. And uh, writing can be very much part of that reluctance when we have to write um, a chapter or a paper or something and we're feeling a little bit uh, that we need to kind of build confidence here and we need to actually um, do a sort of sort of get on with it but we don't know how to and if you've got a a paper or part of a paper part of your thesis to write then um, you can actively keep putting it off and all you're going to do is just generate an anxiety for yourself as the deadline just gets nearer and nearer so rather than deal with the smaller easier task to start the day actually start out by working on the writing task first thing it might seem hard and it's a bit like eating a meal where we want to eat the nicer ingredients on our plate but I guarantee if you tackle that writing task first you will start to feel a great sense of relief you'll start to feel accomplishment and you will feel pride for the rest of the day it takes willpower and um, effort but trust me it will be easier than eating an actual frog and it will get you one step nearer to your actual goal so have a go try it tomorrow morning maybe if you can and trust me you will feel the benefits so my name is Andy Tattersall and you can find out more about these podcasts and me uh, via the web links on the image attached to this podcast so good luck writing and look after the frogs